An elderly woman wants out of a Little Rock nursing home where she says a male nurse sexually assaulted her, but it's not that easy. And you may remember we talked to this family last week right after they filed a police report. Since then, they've tried to move her somewhere else. She'll feel safe, but they aren't having any luck finding an open bed. Our Susan LaCoria explains that her questioning if any of this is a coincidence or not. Yeah, Bob and Ashley, the elderly woman reported this on her first night at Briarwood Nursing and Rehab where she went to recover from a stroke. Well, now to leave there, she has to get a referral from the center. Desperately dialing. I didn't think it would come to this. We really need to get her in a facility. But their search for a nursing home isn't going far. They denied and they rejected her. Every call ends like this. Adding that center's name to a growing list of places. 12 to 14 people. That turned them away. We just need help. We just need them to be fair to her. Upset, this means her 89 year old relative is still at Briarwood Nursing and Rehab, where she says a male nurse sexually assaulted her. She was helpless, but she was able to speak out. Little Rock police are investigating, and the nurse in question is on leave. But the family wonders if that has anything to do with their search coming up short. And it's not right. It is not right. It's feel like we're being blackballed. That's a possibility if you ask nursing home patient advocates like Martha Deaver, who spoke to us over the phone. I believe that it happens in cases where nursing homes feel like that they may have a problem family member or a problem resident. She's questioning what's happening in this case. I do not feel like it would be difficult at all to find uh, a nursing home who has an empty Medicare bed in the area. All this family can do is keep trying. So please call me back at your convenience. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And just maybe they'll get an answer. Who would literally have a heart to hinder a 89 year old lady woman from getting help. Why would you? And I did try to ask Briarwood about this, but none of my calls to them have been answered as far as the case. Little Rock Police tell me detectives are still reviewing, trying to interview everyone involved, and at this point, there haven't been any arrests. Back to you. Thanks, Susan. We